Breathing exercise are absolutely essential. Why that? Without breath, there is no life. The better we breathe, the more life we have. Breath and life are the same thing. As soon as we stop breathing, there is no life. What happens when we are born? We start breathing. What happens when we die? We stop breathing. Simple. Therefore, every morning we want to start the day with getting the breath correct. Breath is a skill. If we don't work on it, it will deteriorate and will linger away and after a while breathing becomes shallow and it doesn't become effective. For the whole spectrum of the breath, in order to work effectively, we need right from the sacrum area right up to the top of the clavicle. The whole area needs to be covered because what we have here are very, very important acupuncture point and in the back also that are energy centers to distribute the breath we're breathing in to the meridians and then combine with food and nutrients to produce blood. So if we got air moving all the way to the bottom of the body and then all the way up again, if we use the whole spectrum, all energy centers will have the air required to produce strong, powerful blood. You can tell in the face of people who do good breathing techniques because their skin is rejuvenated, their skin is fresh and it lubricates and it looks like it shines from within. That's what the power of oxygen is. That's the power of strong breathing. So if you want to look young, if you want to have a nice, beautiful skin, smooth skin, breathe correctly. You can tell those who don't breathe correctly, the skin gets dry, brittle and starts breaking. As soon as you start putting lots of oxygen and good breath into the body, right up from the top, right up to the bottom, so you take the whole spectrum, that means all your cells will be rejuvenated Everything will start blossoming and you can tell that in your skin. Your lung is opening up to the skin in Chinese medicine. If you work effectively with the lungs, it automatically benefits the skin and it will rejuvenate the skin. It gives you elasticity of the skin. It makes you look, your skin look young and youthful. So therefore, there are lots of reasons to breathe correctly. Because we want to look good, but we also want to feel good and we don't like aging. So therefore, it's enough motivation already to really dedicate ourselves every morning to have the time for a good breathing session. There are lots of breathing techniques available. There are hundreds. And India has explored breathing for the past six, seven thousand years. Lately, they have all kind of people come forward to make it more accessible. And one of them is obviously Wim Hof. And he probably just crystallized the essence of it to a large extent you could say in the most effective. But I want to take you a little bit from the perspective of Tai Chi, from a perspective of Qi, from the perspective of the Qi cycle and Chinese medicine. How to make this breathing even more suitable for you. So, in essence, we follow the idea that already Wim Hof has brought to the world, which he has uh, identified from the Pranayama. However, the Chinese and the Taoists also have a similar idea, very much in the same idea. And I want to take you on that route. So, what we're doing is, every morning, every day, every morning we start the day and we're going to sit down and we have the spine straight, and now we're focusing to connect to the lowest part of the body. And we feel the glutes getting engaged. At the same time, it feels like we're hooking to the breath and then, and then let it sink all the way down to the bottom, let it con connect and then Feel it all the way connect to the sacrum. Without forcing it, but active.
We always breathe in through the nose and then till it's all out. But we don't pause, we immediately to the bottom. My hand visualizes where my awareness, my meter of the breath would be. Sink into the glutes, relax into the glutes, right to the bottom, and then So don't, obviously we do that without the arms movement. I just visualize it for you. So and then you can speed up a little bit. You want to get the perfect rhythm, which takes a while to sort out. You will be amazed that every day you do it, it will get better. You will never ever get to the perfection of it. It's a practice that will get improved with each practice. But the idea is the spine is straight. You center yourself all the way down to the glutes, which is the, um, the bum muscle below the belly. And there are different formats of how many times to breathe in. Some people do 30 in breath. Personally, I work with 45 in breath and I work, I found out that works best. And all the people I work with found out also that works really best because it takes about 15 in breath and out breath to get that rhythm, to get that flow happening. You will notice that when you start the breathing in the morning, your lung is not quite up to it yet. It feels like the pipes are clogged. It feels like it's not really flowing yet. The machinery is not fueled yet. And that's why you will notice after about 15 in breath and out breath, it starts opening up. It's getting easier. It's getting more effortless. Then, Say you aim at 30 in breath, out breath first, but then you maybe do 40. But what happens is when you finished on say 40 in an out breath, you hold it on the out breath. And now the idea is to concentrate your awareness on your Dantian, the center below the navel. And it's almost feeling like there's a little chi bubble in your stomach. And that chi bubble, just give it a visualization that you ignite it. See the little light bulb going on. Dong, and see it coming up. And as you're holding it, you will also notice that this light bulb starts burning. And it burns all negative chi. Because you have worked extensively with lung meridian and large intestine meridian which is letting go of the old and letting in the new. And what you let in is all the fresh air, the fresh chi, the good chi, because you have done the whole spectrum of the whole movement. You have now cleared out all the debris, all the bad chi from the day before. But now as you are holding the breath on the out breath, you really start burning this negative chi. You can even take in a, a, a thought that bothers you or hurts you or and you can even bring that in and feel it how this oxygen and chi in your stomach is burning that thought and as you continue holding the breath it will evaporate into nothingness 
and you will enter your true being, which is that chi being, which is the infinite soul that is always present. And this mysterious emptiness that you will enter will also bring forward an intense sense of positivity, of love and of unity with all that is. Suddenly, everything is good, everything is beautiful, everything is fine. And you keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, and you're burning and burning and burning. And with practice, you will be amazed how far you can extend this. And then after time, when you can't hold it anymore, and then you just before you feel like, oh dear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna faint, then big in breath and you feel like suddenly the whole lung is just so free, so opened up, you get big, big, big in breath. Then hold it for about 15 seconds. And then, and now you start again. So that was your first round. Um, I work with people and everyone finds that after three rounds, it really starts opening up. Personally, I do four rounds every morning. With the in-breath and out-breath and the holding, it will take me 20 minutes. But the benefits I get from it is worth much more than the investment of 20 minutes. It's the first thing I always do. Because during the day, when you're engaged with all the stressful aspects of your life, what happens? Your breathing becomes more and more shallow. From the whole spectrum that we have available during the day, the stress makes our shoulders go up, but also the meter, the indicator of the breath that we have available. So after lots of, in, doing a lot of stress, the range of the lungs that we only use is only the upper part, this part here. So you only use 15% of the energy production centers to utilize that converts oxygen into, into energy, into blood and chi. The 85% is just laying dormant, not used. No wonder why comes 5 p.m. You are so tired, you're like, oh, and you're yawning. Why do you yawn? Because you're using only the upper part of the breath. If you use the whole breath, that can't be yawning because it's moved everything through. It moved everything through. So therefore, what we're doing in the morning is a clearing out of all that compressed chi that has been stored during the day. And then in the mornings, because it's large intestine time, because as you know, we all get up at 5 a.m., it is now fully accessible to utilize that to the best ability. I found that doing these breathing techniques is best to do early in the mornings. They are also immediately effective in the afternoons after coming home from work, but nothing beats to do it at 5 a.m. in the mornings, it's, or even earlier. It's the absolute best time. And the benefits you get from that, the feel you get from it, will drive you next day to go early to bed so you can catch that beautiful wave of chi that is available only in the mornings. Around 4 a.m. it starts, that's when all the chi becomes available. And that's when this enormous treasure is waiting for us to be utilized. We just have to get up and we need to know what we do. And that's what the breathing is all about. Therefore, remember, where there's breath, there's chi. Where there's chi, there's potential. Where there's potential, there's movement. Where there's movement, there's happiness. Where there's happiness, there's purpose. Where there's purpose, there's love.